Are you against all religions? Is not religion something essentially needed by man? Yes, I am against all the religions because I am for the religion. The very fact that there are so many religions is enough to prove that something is basically wrong, that we have not been able to discover the truth about religion. Because the truth can only be one, Lies can be hundreds, fictions you can create as many as you like. It is your imagination, but the truth is not your imagination. The truth is a revelation. It is already there. You have not to invent it. You have to discover it. I am against all the religions because all these religions are not religions. If they were religions, there would have been only one religion in the whole world. There is no possibility of even there being two religions. What to say about three hundred religions? It is absolutely absurd. It is strange that man continues to tolerate. These are all fictions created by different people, different societies, different geographies. They have nothing to do with religion as such, because religion is not geographical, is not historical. Religion is not racial, is not national. All these categories are irrelevant as far as religion is concerned. Do you ever think science in terms of nations, races, countries, historical periods, geographies. If the water boils at 100 degrees, here, today, It has been boiling at 100 degrees, always, everywhere, 
in the past and it is going to violate 100 degrees in the future too. It will not make any difference whether the person who is boiling the water is a Jew or a Hindu or a Christian or a communist, whether he believes in God or does not believe in God. Whether he is a sinner or a saint, it won't make any difference at all. The water will boil at 100 degrees all the same. That's a truth. And you need not create any fiction about it. Religious experience is a truth. When you discover it, you will not find that it is Christian or Hindu or Mohammedan or Buddhist. It has nothing to do with all these words. The moment you will discover religious truth, all space, all time become irrelevant. It is simply beyond time and space. It is immaterial. Five thousand years before, five thousand years afterwards, it is exactly the same. The universe remains authentically itself. It is not wearing phony masks that it goes on changing when one mask suits it uses it, when another mask suits it uses that. The universe has no masks. It is utterly naked. It is not like you. It has no personality. Truth has no personality. You have not only personality, you have personalities, each one of you, many personalities. Because you need different faces in different situations with different people, when you are talking to your wife, you need a different personality, the personality of a husband. When you are talking to your girlfriend, you talk differently. You are using the personality of a lover.
when you're talking to the priest, you certainly behave in a different way. And when you are talking to your servant, do you behave in the same way as you behave with the rabbi, with the pope, with the Mahatma? No. When the servant passes through your room, you don't even take any notice that a person is passing by. The servant is not human. You don't say hello to him. He does not expect any hello from you. He comes and goes, does his work. He is a robot. He is paid for that. You go on reading your newspaper, you don't even give a single glance to the person. You don't ask anything to him. How are you? No, that is not expected. You are the master. But when you go to the office and stand before your boss, then the situation is just the reverse. Now you are the servant. And you are standing there and the boss goes on turning his file as if you are not standing, as if there is nobody. And he may not be looking for anything in those files. He may be just turning those files to show you where you belong. There is no need for him to take any notice of you. If you watch yourself, you will see in 24 hours how many times you go on changing your personality. And it becomes such an automatic process that you need not even make an effort to change it. It becomes automatic. You see your wife coming, it automatically changes. You see your boss coming, it automatically changes. It has been your routine so long that now you have to understand one thing about men, that man's mind has a robot part in it. When you learn something, you have to be alert. For example, if you are learning driving, you have to be alert, watchful of so many things. The road, the people, the other vehicles passing. You have to be aware of your steering. You have to be aware of the brake, you have to be aware of the gears. And in the beginning, when somebody learns, he 
he finds it so much difficult to take care of so many things simultaneously. Once you have learned what happens, then you can sing and drive, talk and drive, listen to the radio and drive. Your mind has taken driving to another section and that section is the robot section of the mind. Now the robot takes care of everything that you were required to take care in the beginning. The same happens with your personalities. So you are not even aware that you change so quickly. No sound is made, no visible change. But if you watch, you will see everything has changed. 